Hey there UK DCers, today I have the full review of this which is the Otter by Terrain365. Uh, this is made in the USA and it's not a cheap knife by any stretch. Um, this one cost me that much and you can also get this for a little bit more. You can get this with carbon fibre scales or for even more you can get titanium scales and all three look very nice very sleek um this was my personal favorite and happily the cheapest it comes in this box with sort of like your, your map style height lines or whatever you call that i'm sure that's a technical term that I've, i'm not sure about uh yeah pretty pretty plain box inside that box you will find yourself this quite pleasing uh, terrain 365 pouch and in there you get the grand sum of a bag that holds the knife and that's it we have got a barlow pattern a nice simple spear point blade now uh you might be asking what the hell how is it cost so much <laughs> um that's why that teravantium means this blade is actually devoid of all iron meaning it won't rust uh, all these fittings and all the steel on here uh, they needed to make a steel spring because i have a knife in teravantium with a titanium spring and titanium just does not work very well as a spring material it's it, i mean it does the job but it's uh, the action is pretty awful to be honest um I'll show that one at some point, uh, but for now, um, focusing on this, it is all 316 stainless steel, which is sort of the type you'll find on, you know, high-end, completely waterproof watches, like diver's watches, that kind of thing, um, before you make the leap to titanium. But yeah, the, uh, the Teravantium there is dendritic cobalt. absolutely completely non-magnetic so action on this very pleasant a nice solid you know thwack into the into the close position very nice and easy to open you've got plenty to grab there it's completely ambidextrous you have this sort of nail slot both sides but you don't need to use it you can just grab and open i'd imagine you don't even need to use that if your hands were soaking wet which is Quite a real possibility if you're the kind of person that's interested in purchasing a knife like this. Um, washers are on screen now. Um, hardware type is uh, T8 and two T6s. Um, finish on these scales is absolutely lovely. Uh, you know, like they really haven't skimped even though it's only g10 it's a very very nice sort of pattern on there i do really like this g10 and like i said you do get your lanyard loop uh, that's a little bit annoying um how big it is and you need to be very careful because if you have it over there like that and close the blade that's the end of days for your blade uh, you will have a large dull spot at best and it might even shatter it or i don't know how brittle this is i don't want to break it of course but you can happily store it up there if you don't want to put a lanyard on it and that's how i've been using it and it's fine mostly out of the way you can feel it a little bit when you're holding it but it's it's not that bad uh, talking of when you're holding it it's a barlow i don't know what you want me to say it's a it's a traditional pattern uh, they're all over the place barlows it's great you know it's it's just a sort of a teardrop barlow shape pretty pretty sound uh, pretty <laughs> pretty great in the hand uh, like i said there's really not much to say about a barlow's ergonomics that hasn't already been said i think the finish on this is pretty stellar uh, i mean you can see just how smooth all of that work is back there look at that how it comes to a very very nice square stop at the end of the spring which is quite rare 
uh, quite a lot of the time this is sort of an afterthought at the end of the spring here and it's like an angle or just crap uh, it's really nicely done here you can see the meet up there between the blade and the spring is pretty damn good there's an equal gappage on each side if i can show that yeah that's much better you can see just the chamfering just on the top of that blade it fits in there so well it's almost you know completely filling that but just not quite we break that you see how that, that comes out hugely there and half stop it doesn't go flush um i've yet to meet anyone that genuinely cares about this position uh, although i have noticed uh, medford in his latest gentleman jack has managed to make that flush at the half stop so um, you know, if you if you want to go that extra mile, that's a that's an excellent thing. Uh, they haven't bothered with this one though. It's it's going to be in this position for about a second. You know, it's not really. And then absolutely nice and flush again there. Uh, all this is perfectly aligned. I mean, it's really hard to pick out a flaw with this just really really difficult to find anything to just really have a go i guess maybe they could have sunk this hardware in better this pivot you know sort of just sticks out it is chamfered but it just i don't know um you know this one's sort of seated in and this one isn't obviously but i don't know it just seems a bit weird to have the the pivot out so much not that not that you can feel it like i said it's absolutely fine so there you go uh, like i said this is teravantium which is a dendritic cobalt alloy uh, the edge retention on this um i mean it it doesn't have a super glidey sharp edge for a very long time this but it just goes through cardboard for days uh, i will get a bit of paper and you will probably be less than impressed by the performance Let's get this bit. Yeah. And as you can see, it's it's really not. I mean it still doing it a little bit, but uh, there you go, sort of. But it, it does not keep that super glidey sharp edge there is not a thing with this knife. This is a very toothy edge. Um it's almost like a I mean all all, all edges are mini serrations, but this one's like you know very serious mini serrations um but this will still go through cardboard really really well even though it doesn't look like it's very sharp so there we go and this will just so i mean and it will just do that for forever um billboarding you just get literally the terrain 365 logo right there uh, laser etched on there you go and teravantium usa that's it there's some numbers on the inside but i think they're just part numbers for putting the knife together i don't think they hold any like they're not unique identifiers or anything like that you have a little sharpening choil here which is really really nice to see um obviously no blade play nothing like that of course and yeah uh, I'll do a couple of uh, size comparisons here. This is going to be difficult because I'm in such a limited workspace. But, um, so there it is against the UK PK and the Victoria Lux Pioneer. It's just a little bit bigger than the Pioneer. Almost identical in size to the UK PK. Uh, blade length, handle size, it's, it, oh, I mean, almost exact. The UK PK is a little, you know, higher than it but uh, lengthwise basically the same as for lock knives and there you go you can see it's about the same size as a mini griptilian and a lot smaller than everything else so there you go so uh, there you go um 
perfectly centered by the way um quite easy to take apart easy to put back together didn't really have any issues with this even with the strong spring and you do get yourself a little stop pin just there so i've had zero issues with this i mean it's it's a little bit disappointing that it can't be you know super clean shaving but that's like i said that's really not what this edge is about at all it, this is squarely aimed at essentially someone on a boat uh this is meant to you know be completely corrosion resistant so if you live somewhere that's very humid or somewhere like near a near an ocean or something or somewhere very salty that tends to rust things out uh, this is a great knife to have it's very uh, yeah, i'm sure I, I completely believe that this will not rust at all but my big problem with that is the price 300 pounds now it's it's damn cool um i really i love the design i really like the exotic metal that they're using for the blade uh that you know that tingles all my collector you know whatever but I mean, you can get a Spyderco Salt. Uh, you can get these knives. I've forgotten what they're called right now, but they'll be on screen right now. And I'm pretty sure uh, they're cheaper. If I'm wrong, shoot me. Uh, but they have a Marlin Spike on them as well, and you can get different. Although I do think this one looks a lot better than those. I think the, this those ones look a bit... I know they're not because I've seen a lot of reviews of people that have used them, but they don't look super sturdy to me. That said, uh, I think all of the other ones are locking knives and this one's a slip joint. So if you're, you know, basically in the UK and you're looking for one of these, I think this is about your best option unless you uh, commission a custom zip slip in Terravantium from michael vagnino uh, i have a titanium zip slip uh, in teravantium and it's just gorgeous there's nothing that will rust on that knife it's uh, do you know what? i'll go and get it haven't actually shown this on the channel yet but there it is and you can see it's teravantium same the same alloy there you go it's definitely used this is a second hand knife i didn't i didn't commission this myself but you've got wonderful bronzed hardware that's really hard to see in this light. But trust me, that is that is all bronzed. Uh, if I set that down there. Yeah, you can't really see that. It's got a lovely bead blast finished. Anyway, this, this isn't a review of this. But this is what I mean about a titanium spring. See what I mean? There's no real. However, some people like that. Uh, Medford's new Gentleman Jack actually has that as a feature because he doesn't like how some knives snap closed on you like that. He prefers it to, to only snap right there. Uh, so, but this is a titanium spring. This is titanium hardware, titanium scales, and a teravantium blade. There is nothing on here that contains iron. I can literally roll this magnet all over it. Look at it. Nothing, not a single screw. If I just... Magnets couldn't care less about this one. And this one, however, if I show it the spring, loves it. So yeah, there are other options, um, but they're very limited. This this is a uh, this second hand cost me the same as this new 
but this new will be about i think it's 500 ish dollars uh, that's a guess though um like i said i didn't commission this myself and that is subject to change with time anyway i think this is a lovely piece uh it ticks all the boxes it's really well made there's there's no flaws i can really see on it uh, it's, the construction's fantastic oh actually do you know what there is one fit and finish issue that i had with this um i've sorted it out already but when i got this the grinds were very slightly uneven on this side uh this this grind here sort of did like that and the end wasn't quite sharp um, so it's all nice and straight until the end where it sort of lopped off too early uh, as you can see though I fixed that and that's completely as long as you can sharpen a knife which you'll want to anyway uh, it's not, not a real bad issue it's not like it's not like you need to send it back or anything but yeah apart from that I've had nothing nothing I can pick out about this knife being something I don't like um, Another criticism, I guess, would be that it's maybe a little bit bland. Uh, there's nothing exciting as such. Uh, but that said, it's not it's not unpleasant either. It's it's a pleasant life to look at. It's just not not what I'd call thrilling. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, this is sort of like utility personified. It's it's a little expensive yes it's very expensive in fact but it's got a very niche purpose and it does that job pretty well so far as i can tell not that i've tested it properly in uh, salt water or anything but uh but yeah it cuts great which is what a knife is ostensibly supposed to do so yeah, uh, it's just a fair bit of money is all. But yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.